type is contemporary and part of the zeitgeist, as we say. So the, the professional creative market continuously demands more and new type. Without type, we wouldn't have any culture. No science would be possible, no technical knowledge, no development in society. Everything is written down. And to write something down, you need a typeface for. In my thinking, it's an essential part of democracy that you have access to information. And this is connected to type, to printing, to reading, to all that. And uh, without access to information, you are not free. Uh, URW is a type foundry. Uh, we develop and design digital typefaces. We were part of the cutting edge of technology and uh, we started with the desktop revolution and uh, developed technology to keep up with these new developments and new platforms and new uh, devices. We are one of the very few foundries left from the pre-postscript area and uh, Jürgen, my partner, Volker, our chief designer and myself combined more than a hundred years of experience in, in type design and type technology, uh, which is different from other foundries, I believe. I think that uh, corporate uh, typefaces are very important uh, for companies. Uh, it's part of the corporate design and as such it helps to define the corporate image internally and externally. Yes, I think corporate type is important for the brand of course, but also the technical aspects are very, very important that the font is working in different environments, different platforms, different printers and uh, different media and uh, we can of course guarantee that because we have a lot of experience with applications. We have been in the business for 30 years, so we know all the old stuff and uh, also the newest technologies. The first corporate type project I was involved in uh, was for the company of Daimler, or better known as Mercedes. We developed a typeface family consisting of three subfamilies, the corporate A, corporate S and corporate E, which is a serif, a sans serif and a slab. If the typeface is done very good, you will always connect the typeface with the company. A good example is the Mercedes typeface. Even people that don't know anything about typeface will always right away see this is Mercedes. Today an exclusive corporate typeface can be less expensive than a standard typeface because we have many different EPUB licenses like for web embedding and web service and web applications and smartphone applications. And if you add all of those licenses for a standard typeface, it can easily be more expensive than uh, an exclusive font design that includes all of those licenses from the very beginning. GRW is best known for uh, its skills and type technology, actually. That's the strongest part we have. Icarus is our main uh, font production system, which was invented by URW in 1978. And uh, it's still uh, one of the most powerful production systems and uh, design systems which you can find. Well, URW has invented the storing of typefaces uh, in a digital format. This was not possible before. Before, everything was done by photo. Uh, you know, you, you had to hand draw everything on a, in a huge size, very exact, and then this was photographed and then put in onto glass, uh, glass shine, and then <laughs> uh, this made it possible for printing. We have introduced many techniques which are used for rendering type, which are used for modifying type. Uh, we have invented uh, multiple master and interpolation, we have invented auto tracing and we have invented uh, rasterization and uh, these are all techniques which are essential part of any uh, font architecture today. We have been um, very busy in the area of developing global fonts for the last decade or a little more actually. 
uh, that is uh, building fonts with up to 65,000 characters, including all of the non-Latin scripts of the world. A global font is a font which supports many languages, which allows to interchange documents between many, many different countries. For instance, our customer Siemens has 80,000 different products which are sold throughout the world. For them, it's imperative that all of those uh, languages are part of the, the fonts we supply for those products. The production of non-Latin scripts is far more complicated than the production of Latin fonts. In Latin script, it's very simple. You type ABCD and you see ABCD. In Indic, you type a, B, C, D, and then some magic will reorder that and you will have D, A, B, C, or whatever. To work on a non-Latin character is actually a, a special challenge. To some extent you cannot decide if it's correct or not, but on the other hand, every typeface, every character is, is handwritten in the beginning. So you, when you understand how the hand works in writing certain characters, you can also understand the uh, technique of uh, how it should look like. Siemens was uh, the first customer of the world who contracted GRW to develop a corporate, exclusive corporate global font. Instead of just Latin, Greek or Cyrillic, they, they have a, a corporate global font exclusive uh, to Siemens, which is outstanding. There are few companies who, uh, who are able to do that. Of course, we have some companies in, uh, in the Far East which are producing Chinese and Japanese fonts. Uh, they usually don't have the experience for Indic fonts, so uh, there are only one or two companies in the world which can do all the different languages, and uh, UW is, is one of these. IORW is of interest because of the international team we have, which is a good mixture of experience and young people, very talented designers and font technicians. After all this 30 years of uh, working in this field, it's uh, still interesting and still fun because of all the new things which are uh, happening every year and uh, keeps us busy and keeps us young, I hope, and uh, well, let's have some fun to develop true um, corporate global typefaces. That's a big challenge. It is a challenge, yeah, but it works. <laughs>